So a lot of people ask me, is there any way that I can succeed without failing? And the answer is no, there's no way that you can. Let, as a matter of fact, let me share with you a story. Um, when I was nine years old, uh, I think eight or nine years old, I was in fourth grade and I tried out for the football team, you know, and I made the team and we pretty much lost the entire season. You know, fifth grade, sixth grade, we lost. Uh, through junior high, we lost. Um, it's not fun to lose. Through high school, we lost. And the thing is, is I, I was a pretty good player too, but it doesn't matter if you're a good player, especially if you're in business or you're working with a team, the team has to be good, not just you. And, and so, but it, it, doesn't, it doesn't stop there. I get into college, I get accepted to the Na US Naval Academy. I go there, we lose. And I'm like, man, am I a bad luck charm? I mean, what's the deal here, right? And then I transfer over to TCU, the University in Fort Worth, Texas, and when I was there, we had a losing record as well. And so I'm faced with, man, I suck as a player or whatever, but you know, it's not just one person, it's the entire team. And, but here's the thing. When I left the Naval Academy, they won a bowl game. So, you know, I could look at myself, am I a bad luck charm or am I a foundation builder, right? And then the year I left TCU, they won a bowl game. So once again, I had that choice of, am I a, am I a bad player, or a bad luck charm, or am I a foundation builder? And I choose to be a foundation builder. I love watching those two teams play because they're doing very well. And I got into business, stay with me here, I got into business my first eight years of business, I failed. Now, you really only fail if you actually quit. If you fail and keep moving on, you're basically, you're learning your lessons and you're investing those lessons into the next teaching opportunity or the next project. And so for me, in my head, here's how I thought. I thought, you know what? Other people have figured it out. I'm gonna figure it out. And even though I've been a part of losing teams, I thought teams didn't work. This is a big, big issue I had in my brain. And the thing is, is if you read any business book out there, I mean, pretty much somewhere in there, it talks about, doesn't say it this way, but wealth building is a team sport. If you want to be successful in anything, anything ever created that was great, okay, anything ever accomplished in business or whatever that was great has, has been done through a team, right? So if you're trying to accomplish something great right now, you're trying to do it by yourself, it's not going to work. You have to do it with a team. So back to... Um, you know, failing to success because you have to do that. It's, it's how we all learn. You, know, you could tell a, a, a child not to touch a stove until, you know, and, and they, they, they probably won't listen until they touch it and burn their hand, ah, you know, and all of a sudden they learn now, right? So we have, even though the best thing to do is learn from other people's mistakes, sometimes we have to learn from our own mistakes, right? And so eight years failing in business, never made more than I, that I put in never made more than $30,000 in a year. And I found myself at a business seminar. And at that business seminar, um, the, the, the person on stage was holding their hands out like this. And they were telling all of us to, to grip really hard like you're gripping on a steering wheel, like you're trying to control the steering wheel. And here's what they said. They said, let go. And it hit me, boom, like a ton of bricks because in my head, I thought teams didn't work. I had to do everything on my own. And I was trying to do everything on my own and I was trying to control everything and it wasn't working. And so until I literally let go and I realized that my life is not my own, I've got to accomplish things through helping other people. I've got to accomplish things through a team. That's when everything really started shifting for me. And so, so back to the question of, is there any way to get success without failing? The answer is no. And that was one story right there. I mean, literally my entire, you know, uh, childhood, you know, through junior high, high school, the impressionable years, literally it was part of a losing team every time. And then my first eight to 10 years in business, part of a losing team, so to speak, uh, the team of I, <laughs> okay. And, but it was in the last 10 years, since I made that realization, that it's been very, very fruitful, six fi high six figures and now seven figures. And so, so my point is this, who's your team, who are you hanging around? And if your environment is not, I guess, fertile soil for you, 
then you have to change your environment. Now, Jefferson, you know, oh yeah, Jefferson, that's easy to say. I, I understand that's easy to say. I'm just in front of a camera saying it to you. But I'm hoping you're listening to me. I'm hoping that you're hearing this right now. Because if you're around people that don't appreciate you, they, they tolerate you versus celebrate you, you need to disassociate and limit your association from those people. I'm not saying get them out of your lives. I'm saying limit those associations and reassociate with other people that are going to champion you, that are going to love you, that are going to cheer you on, that are going to help you with your dreams. And, um, and I'm telling you, especially in today's world, with all the negativity out there, with all the news and all the stuff that's out there and people saying what they say on social media and everything, you've got to, you've got to surround yourself with that cocoon of people that believe in you and that you believe in them. It's not about just, you know, taking, taking, taking. It's about giving and receiving as well. And, and so you have to be thinking about how can I add value to other people in my environment? And obviously you want to be part of their environment because they're adding value to you. So a couple of quick things. Evaluate your situation right now in your environment, okay? Understand that if you're going through hell right now, don't pitch a tent, keep on going. It's part of the process, it's part of the struggle. We have to honor the struggle because that's what makes us great. That's what makes great people great is, is they go through that struggle, they, they become stronger and they become a better person. It becomes who they are when they realize what they're made of when they make it through the other side. See, you don't know what you're made of yet until you make it through to the other side. And guess what? There's not a testimony without a test. And a lot of people just do the moany part. They just moan and moan and moan, and they don't pass the test, so they gotta repeat the test. So if you want that success story, what we call testimony, you've gotta go through the test and you gotta pass the test. And when there's, our life is full of tests. So just because you pass one doesn't mean you're free and clear. You know, a matter of fact, um, just earlier this year, uh, I mentioned this in one of my other videos, earlier this year, our, we had a scare with our, our second son. He was, he was eight weeks premature. He was in the NICU for seven weeks. We had a huge scare. And I mean, they were trying to poke needles in him and couldn't get a good vein and they had to poke a needle in his head. I mean, just, it was, it, it was, it was so um, frustrating for us because we couldn't do anything. All we had was our belief in our faith. That's all we had. And for a lot of us, that's what we need to hold on to. You know, for me, it's my faith in God. For you, it might be the same thing, or it might be the universe, or it might be, I don't know what it is for you. But in times of struggle, we have to honor the struggle, we have to learn from it, but we have to have faith that the day is gonna come. Because after night, there's day. After winter, there's spring. After spring, there's summer. There's always that season of change and you're going through that season right now. And so yes, there, you have to step in the potholes of failure to get to your success. And I hope that this message landed on you in a way that you realize that you're not alone. We've all gone, we're all going through it. We're all in this together and I wanna help. And that's why I put these things together for you. So I hope this message today is gonna help you arrive at your next intended destination, healthy, wealthy, and happy.